Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today, we're going to take a look at an original concept that I came up with. This is an alternative way to communicate with your bug out group if you've been separated from them. Now, let's say there's been a localized or maybe even a regional emergency that has caused you and your group or you and your family members to have to bug out. Now, because you were smart, you came up with a plan. You have a main bug out location where everyone knows to head to. But sometimes things happen, you get separated. So if you've been separated from your group, and it could be something as simple as you were at work, they were at home, emergency took place, and all of you know that, hey, this type of emergency is big enough that we need to leave. We all need to head to the main bug out location. Okay, fine. Now, unfortunately, in a situation like this, where it's a localized or regional emergency, your cell phone is probably going to be a paperweight. Cell towers are going to be overloaded with literally everyone and their dog trying to communicate with friends, family, loved ones. So your cell phone might realistically be useless. Okay? You're near the main bug out location. You need to be able to check to see if any of the other members of your group or family are nearby as well, or maybe actually already at the bug out location. How do you communicate with them if your cell phone isn't working? Well, obviously in this day and age, you're not going to be sending up smoke signals. So here's the concept I've come up with. Now, there are two requirements in order for this to work. One, your main bug out location where everyone is headed to, there cannot be any working train stations, train depots, train tracks, or trains in general near your bug out location. That's important. So no working trains anywhere nearby. First requirement. Second requirement. Every member of your group has to have a Topps Knives whistle and it has to be this specific whistle and it has to be from Topps Knives. Why? Because this whistle makes train sounds. Let me show you. Now you tell me that didn't sound like a train. It did. Some people call it the Topps choo-choo train whistle. Fair enough. It's actually a pretty accurate description. Now, I think some of you might know where I'm going with this. You set up a system with your bug out group. For example, something like this. Yep. One blow of the whistle followed by a pause followed by two quick blows. This is just one example. Make sure you've got the system worked out in advance. If there is any member of your group or family who is also near the bug out location or perhaps already there, they're going to hear that and they're going to know, hey, wait a minute, there's no working trains anywhere in the area. Oh, that's one of ours trying to communicate with us and maybe they have a system of blows a different pattern that they return 
to let you know that yes we're here keep coming everything's good if there are any strangers in the area who are also bugging out or maybe just trying to survive they're gonna hear that and they're just gonna think oh there's a train somewhere nearby nothing for me to really pay attention to so there you go a really nice method of communicating with other members of your group if you're near your bug out location and you get separated from them just an example I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one please continue to stay safe